mighty dog, part of the three H nation, letting you know that Jesus is the reason why I'm breathing and I give him all the praise each and every day. Ruff, ruff, ruff. That's right. Ha, I'm G Jizzle on the moon nizzle, part of the three H nation, letting you know that Jesus is the reason why I'm breathing and I give him all the praise each and every day. Yeah, that's what's up. That's right. Yeah. Hi, I'm Corey seeking his face every day, Ray, part of the 3H Nation. Let you know that Jesus is the reason why I'm breathing and I give him all the praise each and every day. Yeah, you should too. Uh-huh. Hi, I'm Bear Ford Fruit, part of the 3H Nation. Let you know that Jesus is the reason why I'm breathing and I give him all the praise each and every day, grr, 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 because he's worthy of it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ribbit the Frog, part of the 3H Nation, letting you know that Jesus is the reason why I'm breathing and I give him all the praise each and every day. Yeah, Ribbit, Ribbit, Ribbit. Yes, he's worthy of all the praises. Ribbit, Ribbit. Hi, I'm Ribbit Christ Rad, to the math, part of the 3H Nation, and you know that... Jesus is the reason why I'm breathing and I give him all the praise each and every day. Yes, he's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Yeah. All right. We have an awesome scripture to talk about and an awesome chant to do. It's pretty cool. I love this chant in the scripture. This scripture is very important for us Christians to really be and pretty much everybody else needs to be all about here. Ain't that right there, G. Jizzle on the morning? Nizzle? Ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, yeah, yeah, IT dog. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. This scripture right here is very important for everybody. I mean, everybody to be about. And this scripture is talking about pretty much about are we asking for wisdom or are we allowing the foolishness of this world system to be the very thing that we follow and, and make our decisions on is what we need to be asking questions. Right there, Corey seeking his face. Eh, they Ray? Yeah. Yeah. G Jizzle on the Monizzle. Yes, this scripture is talking about, you know, uh, asking God for wisdom. It's just that simple, you know? James uh, 1 and 5, I mean, are we supposed to be asking God for wisdom and not, you know, settling for the foolishness of this world system? I mean, that's what's up, right there? Bear for fruit? Yes, that's right there, Corey, seeking his face every day, Ray. Oh, yes, Wisdom is supposed to be the most important thing everybody needs or should be something desired. As we know, King Solomon, you know, could have asked God for anything, and, 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 you know, concerning the things of this world and riches, money, and wealth. But he asked him for the most important thing that everybody else should be asking. Wisdom. Wisdom is the pretty much the ideal of the right application of knowledge or more likely the right application of the word of God. We need to ask for wisdom these days. Right there, Ribbit the Frog. Er, er, er. Yes, that's right there, Bear Fort Fruit. We need to be asking God for wisdom. Oh, all the foolish mistakes, the foolish decisions that are being made right now in this world system. And, and this, that, you know, look, foolishness leads to life. But that foolishness, I mean, sorry, wisdom leads to life. But foolishness leads to death. King Solomon taught as Proverbs is something that everybody should be reading, not just Christians. Everybody should be reading Proverbs. I mean, that's what I'm saying. If they really truly want an ideal of wisdom, ain't that right there, Reverend Christ's wrath? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Yes, that's right, Derek, uh, Bear for Fruit. Uh, yes, we need to uh, be about asking for what, I mean, Proverbs is right there in the Bible. If people really want true, sincere wisdom that King Solomon, you know, uh, asked for from God, he gave us good wisdom in Proverbs. 
They should go to Proverbs. They shouldn't go to the uh, be it, allow this world system that's controlled by the God of this world, blind the minds of men, show them what is wisdom for the, it says, I believe, First Corinthians uh, uh, 2, that the wisdom of man is, oh yeah, uh, one, for the wisdom of man is, uh, uh, the foolishness of God is greater than the wisdom of man. I mean, you should just ask God for wisdom it's very smart, but you have to have a desire to do that pretty much. You know what I'm saying? To ask. And that's where it gets difficult, right? I D all rough, rough, rough. Right? Ah, uh, there, uh, Rep. Re Christ Wrath. We need to be about having a desire for wisdom. And the scripture is James 5, and it says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that he he giveth unto all men liberally and upbraided not, and it will, shall be given unto you. So what that means to you there, G Jizzle on the mo nizzle. Rough, rough, rough. Well, hey, it's just really simple for me. You know, it's just, you know, look, I think that most people struggle with uh, pride issues. They think they know everything. They think they know what, how to make decisions in their everyday life, but they don't realize that a world system like my boy Reverend Christ Wrath says is deceiving them, giving them all this foolishness and try to make it sound like it's wisdom, but it's making all kind of foolish decisions that leads to a loss of life. And it's just horrible and terrible for what's going on in this world of the stuff that people believe that if they keep on doing this, they're gonna make good decisions in their life. But Satan is just deceiving them like crazy. But I think you just gotta be humble enough to ask God for wisdom and quit thinking that you have the, the mindset to really make decisions in life. And that's how you should go about wanting to be about asking God for wisdom. That's what I'm saying. Ain't that right there? Corey seeking his face. Eh, hey, Day Ray. That's right, G. Gizzle. You're right. I mean, this world system, it operates in so much foolishness, so much foolish outcomes because that shows that, that the world system operates in the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, Pride of life. That's right, G. Jizzle. Pride of life is what G. Jizzle had talking about. That we, this world system motivates people to operate in darkness. And when you operate in darkness, you become more prideful. And you, you, you make foolish, you, you think that foolishness is something fun or something good, but the outcomes can hurt you and hurt others greatly. Then people just need to come to that understanding to need to ask God for wisdom for God's wisdom is higher than our wisdom. He's in heaven. You know what I'm saying? The song Rich Mama said our God is an awesome God. He, he he's, it's, And it's all about wisdom and power and love. Wisdom is, God's wisdom is where we need to be about learning if we truly want to live life right. Right there bearing forth fruit. Grr. Yes. That's right there, Corey seeking his face every day, right? Yes, we, we need to, that's right. When y'all, uh, we need to understand that wisdom is a treasure as what? As King Solomon, it's a treasure that we need. But if this world system keep, you know, ticing you with whatever TV show or whatever music to make you think that their ideal of wisdom is pretty much something that you can fulfill the lust of the flesh, it's a lie. But I want to, you know, but it says that in the scripture that all men, uh, all it says that he will give wisdom to all men. Everybody can get wisdom. Anybody can get wisdom. It's there for those to receive if they really want to receive it. But like we said, if you think that you got all the answers and you can make, you know, better decisions according to your carnal mind, you're going to be caught up in the foolish trap. Isn't that right there, uh, Ribbit the Frog? Grr, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. 
That's right there, Barefoot Fruit. You will be caught up in this ridiculous trap in this world system that is deceiving people to make foolishness wisdom. But I want to talk about the word abrighted not. And the word abrighted not means to find fault with someone repping Christ's wrath. Oh, yeah. Ain't this not interesting? Yeah. It means to find fault with someone. And it says, abrighted not. We shouldn't be finding fault with people. Uh, and, 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 and this is very important because look, uh, uh, this world system when you're in darkness, you mistreat people, you do people bad, do wrong things to people. And we think that it's the people, it's people because it's people fault that you know that you're in a bad condition, that you are making bad decisions. But ripping Christ's wrath, let them know who fault it is. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, I mean, yes, you're right there, ribbit, the frog. You know, we make foolish decisions, you know, in our diet life, and we it tends to think that it's other people that is causing you to uh, make foolish, uh, do foolish things to people, say foolish things to people. But we need to be honest with ourselves. But it's our, we allow uh, the foolishness of this world to uh, deceive us that we need to stop fight, fault finding to other people and take responsibility with our actions that we chose, unfortunately, to let uh, foolishness to uh, influence us that we need to be honest that it's our fault you know when we make foolish decisions and make bad mistakes that we need to be honest to God and we un understand that when we honest to God and, and humble we will be sincere about you know asking him for wisdom pretty much because we need to find out that it's our fault that we allow foolishness to uh, uh, teachings to make us do foolish things or we follow the lust of the flesh that can make us foolish but it's time for the chant y'all yeah yeah you're right there Re uh, repping Christ wrath yes we need to start stop you know putting a finger to everybody else but three fingers pointing back at us that it's our fault that we allow foolishness to influence us that we find, we need to humble ourselves and we will be really sincere to ask God. But you're right there, Reverend Grace Wrath. It's time for the chant. So, 3H Nation, are you ready for this chant about James 1 and 5? Yeah, rough. 3H Nation, are you ready for this chant, y'all? It's gonna be not, it's gonna be crunk kill. It's gonna, we gonna get down on here. 3H Nation, are you ready to get excited? For asking God for wisdom. 3H Nation, are you ready to be excited to ask God for the wisdom? Yeah. 3H Nation, are you ready? 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 All right there, Rick IT Dog. Let's get it going. All right there. Here we go. One, two, three, go. If any man lack wisdom, you better ask God. If any man lack wisdom, you better ask God. If any man lack wisdom, you better ask God. You better ask God. You better ask God. If any man lack wisdom, you better ask God. If any man lack wisdom, you better ask God. If any man lack wisdom, you better ask God. You better ask God. You better ask God. And he'll give it unto you. And he will give it unto you. And he'll give it unto you. Right. But you better ask God. You better ask God. And, and he'll give it unto you, girl. And he'll give it unto you, ribbit. And he'll give it unto you, but you better ask God. You better ask God. And he'll give it unto you. And he'll give it unto you. And he'll give it unto you, but you better ask God. 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 And he'll give it unto you. Whoa. Yes, he will. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Rough, rough, rough. Yes, he'll give it to you. Whoa. 
Jesus will give you the wisdom to make better decisions. Yeah. Woo! Give it unto you. You better ask God for wisdom. Stop the foolish games. Stop fooling around with your life. Your life is very important to you. You must ask God for wisdom and guidance and understanding to make better decisions in your life. Whoa! And you give it unto you. That's right. Ribbon, ribbon. Ask God for wisdom. 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 And he'll give it unto you. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Ribbit the Frog, part of the 3H Nation. Signing off, giving you straight deuces. Ask God for wisdom. Not continue to follow the world's foolishness. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. All right. I'm uh, Reppin' Christ Rad. Do the math. Signing off on the 3H Nation. Giving you straight deuces. Ask God for wisdom and stop the foolishness that's going on in your life. Yeah. All right. I'm IT Dog, part of 3 Station, signing off. Giving you straight deuces. Ask God for wisdom. Stop the foolish games. Stop the foolish things. Foolishness leads to death. It makes bad decisions. You do not want to be caught up in it. It's horrible. Yes, you want to make good decisions. Right there, rep it. Uh, I, uh, G Jizzle on the Moon Nizzle. Rough. That's right. It's G Jizzle on the Moon Nizzle signing off for the 3H Nation. Right there, IT dog. Foolishness is horrible. It makes, it, it, it hurts you and hurts other people around you. You are an influence to somebody. Somebody's watching you. Someone needs guidance. Someone needs a direction, a good direction of their life. Ask God for wisdom, and he'll give you the wisdom not only to help you, but help others around you that you need to understand. All right, straight deuces. Yeah. All right, I'm Chris in the face, Henry B. Ray, part of 3 Station, signing off. Yes, wisdom. Get wisdom, wisdom over foolishness. Wisdom over foolishness. Get God's wisdom and stop the foolishness. Yeah. All right, I'm Barefoot Fruit, signing off from the 3H Nation. All right, that wisdom is where it's at. Asking God for wisdom is what you need to do. Stop the foolishness of this world. It's crazy. But guess what? I saw something on the floor. That was the beat dropping. Let's go.